Good morning, Calvary Chapel. If we haven't met, my name is Bob Russell, and it's a blessing to be with here with you this morning to share a word of encouragement. Before we get into God's word, let's pray together. Father, we just thank you for this precious day that you have given to us. Lord, we just ask that you would just intervene in every situation of our lives, God, that we just cast our cares upon you because you care for us. Lord, we just pray just a mighty work of your spirit. And may we have uh, your word to comfort us this morning. We praise your name in Jesus' name. Amen. As we look back over the last few weeks, it reminds us that we are not in control. We really do not know what will happen tomorrow. See, the book of James says that our life is but a vapor. It appears for a short time and then vanishes away. But this does not mean that we don't have hope because our hope is in Jesus Christ who never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The same God who provided for us at the first of the year is the same God who will provide for you and for me today. As we started out this year, no one expected us to be in the situation that we are in right now. We have never seen anything like this before. But this is not a surprise to God. If you remember, when we started out this year, God gave us a word out of Isaiah. He says, Behold, I am doing a new thing, Calvary Chapel. Now it shall spring forth. It is already begun. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. While God did not cause this virus, he will use it for his glory. Even though we cannot meet at church, the word of God still goes forth. Lives will be changed and people will come to the knowledge of the Lord. During this time, many people around us are seeking to the answers of life. And we have the words of comfort because we have the living, powerful Word of God. If you have your Bibles or your tablets there with you, you can turn to Psalm 91. Psalm 91. I will read through the Psalm and then we'll take a few minutes to discuss these words and bring comfort to us in time of need. Verse one. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Verse 3. Surely He will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Verse 7. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample a great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Think about what we just read. 
those who live under the shelter of the Most High, those who put their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, will have protection from the Lord Almighty. He will shelter us with his wings. Think of a nest of baby birds, how they are sheltered in the mother's wing. See, the next time you're feeling discouraged or anxious about what's going on, just think about God just wrapping his loving arms around you and protecting you. Verse 4 says that his faithful promises are our armor and protection. See, whenever we are worried about the things that are going on in the world, we just need to turn to the word of God and remind ourselves of his promises. See, Jesus even said that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will by no means pass away. Isaiah put it like this, the grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever. See, we can put our trust in the word of God. And when the Bible says he will never leave us nor forsake us, we can have great comfort knowing that Jesus is always with us. See, no matter what is going on around us, God in his great mercy rescues and he protects us. Colossians 1, 16 and 17 says, For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. See, since God created the heavens and the earth, and he holds all things together, there is no circumstance in your life or my life that are too difficult for our God. See, God desires that we cry out to him in prayer. He is a personal God who cares about every detail of our lives. I love what Adrian Rogers says. He says, glance at your problems and gaze at your Savior. Let me say it one more time, Calvary. Glance at your problems but gaze at your Savior. See, what are we allowing our minds to focus on? See, during these times, I encourage you to keep your eyes fixed upon the author and finisher of your faith, the Lord Jesus Christ. And we can do that by meditating on the Word of God. The next time you're inclined to turn on the news, I encourage you instead, to open the word of God for peace and comfort. Yes, we need to be informed, but as we all know, we do not need to be overwhelmed with what we're seeing on TV and on the internet. See, God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. And may we always remember that God is still on the throne and he is in control. Amen? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time that we've had this morning to open your word, the living, powerful word of God, the word that comforts us in our time of need. Lord, we pray that you would meet the needs of those who are listening to this. Lord, you know every intricate detail from the financial needs to the health needs. Lord, we look to you because you are the great healer. You are the great physician. You are the one who provides. Lord, we just are in all of you that no matter what is going on around us, that we may not be shaken. Lord, that we turn to you and we put our trust in you. And Lord, we just pray that you would grant us, according to the riches of your glory, to be strengthened with might through your spirit, that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith, that we, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, 
and the length and the depth and the height to know the love of God which surpasses all knowledge. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Now to him be the glory by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. We look forward to the time that we can meet again. And just remember, God is in control. Amen.